So I'm back at the hut today and thankfully everything is still how I left it, nothing's been tampered with. Uh, as you can hear the cicadas are deafening and I am still only halfway done with the walls. So basically I'll be keeping on uh, splitting bamboo, putting them through the walls. So that's basically exactly what I've been doing the last three videos. So today I might uh, spice it up a little bit and just do a time lapse instead. Hopefully my phone doesn't run out of battery or of space. But yeah, that's the plan for today. And I will be splitting this new bamboo that I've just gotten. And I'll be putting that through the wall some more. So, here we go. So I've used up the entire piece of bamboo, and this is the progress so far. I've probably gone up about 30 centimeters on the back wall, and then 10 or 20 centimeters higher on the other walls. Um, next time I'll, I guess, keep doing the same thing. So it's going to get repetitive, but in the end, I think it'll be worth it. Also, the supports that hold up the roof. Uh, this one here and that one there they get looser over time so they've, they've fallen out so I'm going to I think find some different sticks to put in there and also make some more rope out of flax to tie them on a bit more securely so that they don't keep falling out like that So basically what I just did was take the support that was coming from the roof up above me to this point just there and it's the one that had the uh, fork V uh, at the end and I've done this with it. So I put it through uh, up the top there and then sort of put that over there, hold it still and then put it down between all of those pieces of bamboo just there. Hopefully once the bamboo is all completely up in that all the way up to the top that'll hold it completely secure and then that'll stop this from moving like it does now so that's the plan and I'll end up tying that on as well just to be sure so yeah now I'm just also gonna take out all these leaves that are growing because uh, I don't want all this crap growing back here because that's what it all was before I cleared the space so I really don't want that growing back again until I'm completely finished because I'll be digging this up and then putting the mud onto the walls I think after I've done it all um, it'll be good for them for it to grow in here because it'll sort of provide a soft sort of floor and um, that'll be good it is. Also, uh, here's an update on the leaves coming out of the trunks again. Still bewildered of how that's happened and I'm even more bewildered with how it's happening to this top 
branch especially how it's not even connected to the ground at all and neither is that one so beats me but I'd say there's something to do with uh, what's inside the branches and then once it all runs out once energy in the branch one like, sort of runs out yeah, all the leaves will stop growing and then it'll probably just die so so I've just been on a little walk uh, to explore the surrounding area a bit more and I found some uh, a big pile of big logs that are really dry they've come down the river in the last floods and they're all piled up there they're really dry again so when I do start to make fires I know where to get some really good timber uh, also I came across the river and I've found some blackberry now blackberry is quite a pest in New Zealand of a plant it grows in vines it's got huge thorns it's nasty stuff but there's one good thing about it it has uh, what's called blackberries obviously on them so I'm just gonna try a few and I do quite like that blackberries so hopefully they're nice Yep, that's really good. So yeah, blackberry, the good thing about them is the blackberries of course, but the bad thing, they grow out of control, you know. They've got thorns, they're horrible plants. People ask me why I don't use bamboo for the roof, and it's because I don't have enough of it. If I did have enough of it, if I had a big supply of it, I would use it as a roof. I think it would be awesome as guttering, and I think it would look really good, and it would really complement the design of my uh, hut but I simply don't have enough of it so unfortunately I can't uh, also the palm leaf things that I was experimenting with in my last video uh, I thought they would be good for a roof but turns out after leaving them for a week they've done this so it's basically all dried out and they've all closed in um, so I'm not sure if they'll be suitable anymore so back to square one not sure what I'm going to do for the roof but yeah I think uh, I might even use flax I'll need a lot of it though try and weave a roof um, or I'll just put lots of sticks up it and uh, I don't know put some leaves on it I honestly don't know I'll keep looking keep finding a new way to do it and yeah 